The way that gravity works in Paper Mario the Origami King can be really interesting. Watch out! Unless you can float like me, I'd be careful over there, Mario. Here are some interesting observations with how gravity works in Paper Mario the Origami King and what happens when we mess with that in the game. In the real world, if an object is falling near the surface of the Earth, it accelerates downward at about 9.81 meters per second squared. In Paper Mario the Origami King, Mario falls downward if he's in the air, but he falls at the same speed. His falling speed doesn't increase. If we lock Mario's vertical position to a certain value while he's in the air, we can see that gravity is still acting on Mario. The gravity in the game tries to pull Mario downward, but his vertical position is updated back to where it was because we locked this value. This makes Mario splash about in place very quickly, and if we do this with Mario at the surface of some water, it could look like he's splashing around. Yes, this is a perfectly normal day in Paper Mario the Origami King. And when Mario is in the boot car, gravity works in exactly the same way. We'll be talking about the boot car and its secrets in a future video, so make sure that you're subscribed so that you could learn all about that. As you might have noticed at the start of this video, gravity pauses and Mario's position isn't updated while text boxes are open. And we could do some strange things in cutscenes with this. Here's an example of this. Watch this cutscene where we enter the Shangri Spa Cafe near the Spring of Rainbows. Mario's vertical position is very high, so he's out of view of the camera. I carefully position Mario on this back ledge here that you can't normally access. By the way, did you ever notice that the lights here are actually upside down cups with plates? It's a good thing that you're not having cups fall on you or that there isn't coffee in them so you don't have hot coffee spilled on you. Anyways, Olivia has a normal comment when we ask her for a hint, but things get strange when we jump down from here onto the counter. The Sniffit Cafe owner says question mark W7C2F12 question mark. I've seen something similar before in my past video, what happens when we clone partners in Paper Mario the Origami King. In that video, if we dig with Professor Toad outside of the desert, he has a similar message pop up. But let's go back to this Sniffit. If we look through the game's dialogue files, there is no W7C2F12 message. There are welcome messages, message 1 to 12, and message 13 to 16, but there's no message 12. It could have been that there was dialogue planned for this part of the game, but it never made it or it was removed. I also checked through the dialogue files for other languages for the game, but there is still no entry for this piece of dialogue. Remember how Mario's position doesn't change when text boxes are open? Well, Mario can order some coffee while floating above a chair. He can take a sip of the coffee without reaching down for it, drop the cup down, then he can turn around, jump to the floor, and immediately teleport back into the air, where gravity will start trying to bring him down now because the cutscene is over and gravity's active again. If we make Mario's vertical position high enough so that he's out of sight of the camera, the cutscene will still play similarly. Mario can still drink the coffee from way up there. Mario also jumps down again when the jumping off the chair part of the cutscene plays before he floats up and out of sight again. But here's something strange that happens in the Shy Guys Finish Last minigame. Remember in the Race and Pace minigame how after that happens Mario normally jumps on all the racers after lining them all up? What happens if Mario's so high that we can't see him? He's up in the air, the lights are dimmed, and suddenly he drops from the sky onto the first Goomba, which must have hurt a lot falling from that height. And after Mario lands on the final snippet, Mario jumps back up into the sky and stays there. At least Olivia's still in the center and cheering for how well the game show is going. Remember how gravity normally stops Mario from falling while text boxes are open? Well, watch this cutscene and see what happens after completing the race and pace minigame. Mario lines up the snippet, jumps onto it, and jumps back into the sky after getting everything correct. The yes message pops up and there's applause from the audience. But while the Shy Guy MC says, let's take a look at the scoreboard, we can see Mario falling. Next, I was wondering what would happen in the sudden death round with the cannon. While this text box is up, we can edit Mario's position to put him far above the cannon. Then the music video with the missing lyric plays, and we return to the sudden death round with Mario and the cannon. From this position, it's a bit hard to tell if Mario is inside the cannon or if he's above it. But once we line up Olivia, we can see that Mario is in the cannon, not above it. And we can't seem to edit Mario's position here. My guess for why that is, is because we're moving around the rings here to get Olivia into position, so the game treats this like a ring battle, so that's why we can't edit Mario's position here. 
Olivia gets the answer correct. We succeed in the sudden death round. The cannon explodes. Mario falls back down and then he floats again. And this behavior is similar to what we see in the cafe cutscene. But just wait to see what happens next. You might remember what normally happens after this, where the trap door opens and normally Mario and Olivia fall into it, and that brings them to the spring of rainbows. But what if Mario floats here? Will he still fall through the trap door? Let's see. The trap door opens and Olivia falls down, even though she's floating. And gravity starts acting on Mario, but since I locked his vertical position, he just stutters in place like we saw earlier in the video. If we read through all of the text on screen, then Mario eventually calms down a little bit and he stops playing his falling animation and the credits play for Shy Guys Finish Last. If you do this yourself, you want to be careful because you can edit Mario's position while the text boxes are open, but if you bring Mario too low, you can't bring him up again after that. We haven't even started to talk about how gravity works for the boat in this game, which is a really interesting topic as well, and we'll also be covering some secrets of the boot car in an upcoming video. So please make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel if you are not already. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hoping you all have a lovely day, and take care everybody.